Welcome back guys. So in today's video, I'll be sharing with you on how to set up your Facebook pixel, the right way, the easy way to go about this. Okay. So if you're just hearing about pixel, Facebook pixel for the first time, just know that Facebook pixel is a code that has been added to your website or app that enables you to track, measure, events, actions of people, actions people take on your website, and it also enables you to build audience of these users to target via Facebook. So most times whenever you visit a website, okay, and then you come over to Facebook, you start seeing adverts on products from the sites you visited. The reason is because you're being tracked by the use of Facebook Pixel. So guys, if you just see this face for the first time, my name is Stanley, I'm a digital marketer, I share my experience on this space so those who are just getting started could learn and um, improve and scale their business either online or offline. So guys, I have a giveaway for the first five persons to spot the five different emoji in this video. So now the emojis will be posted in different sections of this video. So for you to be able to spot these different five emojis, you have to watch this video to the end. So what you're going to do after spotting these five emojis, you come down to the comment sections then you write this emoji there. So the first person, I'll come to the comment section. I'll pick the first five persons to get it correctly. So I'll contact them and reward them. Okay. So make sure you watch this video to the end for you to be able to get these five emojis. So guys, if these are the kind of contents you love to watch, don't forget to like this video, to subscribe to this channel, and put on your notification bell for more. So now let's go straight to create our um, Facebook pixel. So we go straight to Ad Manager. On this Ad Manager section, we'll go to um, Events and Management. Okay, so let's wait for this page to load. Okay. So guys, um, we'll come over to this section here where you see all tools all tools after clicking on ad manager you'll be taken to this page you click on all tools right here under this all tools we go to event manager so under the event manager we can start setting up our facebook picture okay so we click on event manager um wait for it to load So um, under the event manager, okay, it's loading. My network is a little bit slow. Under the event manager, you go to this section here. In this section here, simply come down here. You click on connect. Under connect, you click on web, and then you click on connect. So here we give our pixel a name. Just give it any name. Okay. And I'll click on create. I'll wait for it to load. So right here we impute the website. So before setting up your pixel. You should create a website okay make sure that you've created a website so if you don't have any idea of how to go about creating a website and you want me to create a video on that also leave a comment below telling me that you want me to create a video on facebook on a um, domain name how to create or set up your domain name okay so we're just simply putting our domain name here okay and we'll link it up. Link it up. Then set it up, right? Okay. As you can see, the green check shows that it's a valid domain. It's a valid domain, okay? I'll just wait for this to finish loading, then we proceed to next. All right, so we've been asked, 
this is the spatula integrations available. No, 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 no. I want to do this manually. I'll go to next. I want to do this manually. So under this section, we have the conversion of API and MetaPixel recommended. MetaPixel only. So I'll click on MetaPixel only right here. So um, just proceed. I'll click on. I'll click on next. Okay, it's, it's okay. Let's see if we're still on track. Okay, hopefully we are still on track. Okay, let's give it a sec for it to load properly. Okay. See an error. Okay, I think let's come over to this section. Say is metals data source. Do we have any details here in that house? Okay. I think we have one already here. Yeah, we've set it. So just simply come over to this section, let us search. Then wait for it to load. Okay, please, guys, be patient. It's loading. It's loading my network is a little bit slow. So as you can see, it shows that we have not received any active um any activities. Okay. No one has visited the website, so it's not going to track anything. So for us to proceed, we just click on continue setup. Um I don't want this, I guess. I want to use manual fixing okay this then i'll proceed with the next option and i guess the next thing we ask here is to provide our okay yeah i said manually add pixel code to website use partner integration so this partner integration means using your, your shopify or using your wordpress or what have you so in this case, I want us to do it manually, manually integration, so manually um, adding this pixel code to the website is for me the easiest that anyone can do this, okay? You don't need to have any initial knowledge of coding before you can be able to do this. So I'll just simply come on install code manually. I'll click on install code manually. So it brings me to this page. Let's wait for it to load. It's going to provide some code for me here. I will take this. Um, we'll come over to this section, click on data source. It brings us to this section here. So, what we'll simply do in this section here, we'll just come over to this section and um, click on the initial page is not loading due to network. We click on continue pixel setup. We'll come over to manual, install pixel manually. So, right here, we have the pixel that we are going to copy the code we are going to copy is right here okay so we just simply come click on copy we simply click on copy All right so the pixel code is is a snippet of javascript that adds that's added to the header section of your website the pixel has two parts the base code and the event tag so we simply copy, copy, I've copied it. Okay, so I'll go over to my website, um, dashboard and WordPress, right here, and I'll go to plugin. I'll go to plugin. Here's my plugin. If you also want me to. If you want me to create, show you how to create a website from WordPress, I'll leave a comment below. 
tell me that you're interested in this and we'll create a video on it. So we'll come over to add new. So I uh, will install a plugin called WP. We install a plugin called WP code. WP code. So let's come over to this section and type for W, search for WP code. WP code. Right, so the page is loading. WP code is attached to get there. Okay, let's wait for it to load, okay? We'll get there shortly. Okay, so uh, as you can see, this is WP code here. It has already been installed on my um, WordPress. It's active, as you can see. When you own case, just simply click on install. Just like the way you see it here, it's going to be installed here. So after you must have installed it, the next thing you need to do, you go to the snippets page section. So you can locate the header and the footer of um, our website. So we'll come over to the code snippet, move to the header and footer section. You open the header and footer section. So the next thing we need to do is to go back and copy our um, tracking um, our pixel. Copy our pixel properly. Come back to this section. We we'll click on copy. Be sure that we've copied it right way. So we come back to our WordPress here. Just simply click on one, this section here will come to V, paste the code. So this is the code here. This is the code. So after placing the code on the header section, what is this? I think I made a mistake there. Just delete. Go back again. Copy. Then we kick it back again to WordPress header and footer. I want to do it from the present on image elements. I hope I'm not making a mistake here. So I'll scroll down, I'll click on save changes. Save changes and I'll wait for it to be saved properly. Send the, the link to the page you want to track, the activities on the page. Just simply click on enter. It takes us to the website. Then here we do the setup. Okay. So now what are the things I want to track on this page? This is one of my sales page for one of my products, one of my digital services. Okay, so I want to track a particular event. I want to track I want to track people that will be clicking on this button, okay? So how do I do this? I'll simply come over to this section here. I'll click on track new button. I'll click on track. Then I'll drag it to that section on the track here. I'll click it. So I'll select an event. I'll give it a name. Let's give it a lead name. Um, don't include value. Choose value to, on this page. Don't include value, I don't want to include price value to each, um, to each um, lead, okay? I want to attach any price value. So I'll click on confirm. Then we wait for it to load and set up properly. So I've set the tracking of this. So anybody that will click this particular section on this website, anybody that will click on this particular section, Facebook will be tracking that person. Facebook will be tracking the person. So whenever I want to be run or I want to be target, I'll be able to be target easily the people that click on this join class now. Okay, I hope you're getting this. So the next thing we can also do here is to also track people that are visiting this page. Okay, they are just visiting the page. Whether they take action or not, we just want to track the number of people that are visiting this page. Okay, so we can be able to retarget. So the main aim of you setting up your pixel here. So you to be able to retarget those people that visited your page and then 
convince them to buy from you okay so we just simply come to track click a track track a url so this is a url here you come here we'll pick an event so under the event i'll just say okay people have viewed the page i'll call it contact view content here is the name view content choose the price no price value attached to it so i guess this is it we click here so um after setting it up people that view your page this particular um url tracking is going to track it those people that click on this button is going to track them okay so these are the two major um tracking i want to do on this sales page this landing page okay so i'll click on finish Come to this section, finish. Okay, click on this box there and click on skip. So we come back to our event manager. Okay, come back to the event manager. Click on cancel. Then, since we've added an, added an event. So we'll just simply continue um verify your domain so okay so establish your domain your business manager account as a domain owner and secure authority over which conversion event are eligible to to use on the domain so you have to verify our domain in your the business manager setup go to brand and safety Select domain if your domain isn't listed. Add the primary domain name for the. Okay, let's just click on verify domain and then follow the process here. So, um, remember, we've not able, we, we are not able to verify our domain, okay, due to some technical challenges. But in your own case, I don't think it's going to be like that. Any issues may affect. Okay, so we'll just simply go back to add our domain. We'll go back to the ads manager here, all tools. We'll click on all tools. We'll scroll down to business settings. Business settings. Business settings, okay. Under business settings, you click on this. Right here, we go to um. Now the business settings we go to brand and safety. Under brand and safety, we click on uh, domain. Under domain, we click on add. Then we create a new domain. We add it here. Okay. So it's not going to take time, it's going to be a straightforward process. We click on add. So it brings out this section for us. So we're going to copy this code, this meta code here. Come over to this section, click copy to clickboard. Let's forget the English they're writing here, just come copy it to clickboard. So we've copied to clickboard, we'll go back to our header and footer. So remember, we we'll stopped at 17, we we'll scroll down to 18. I will add it up there, enter, then drop it here. Yeah, then we come over to this session and click on save changes. When you're sure that the changes have been effected, then we can now come back to these um, sections, okay? So after doing this, let's go back to event and manage, event manager. Go back to event manager. So as you can see here, we under the page view we have um two visits, two visitors. This we have zero. Under lead we have zero. 
So we have to go back to the website, then we try to play around with it. We click on this, let's see if it is going to capture this particular um, action we just did here. Okay, so I'll go back again. I'll touch it again. Let's see if it is effective. If it is reflecting, then we are good to go. So let's go back to um, the event manager. Let's refresh this page. Hopefully, it's going to be reading on this um, event manager. It's going to show us the activities on the website right here on this um, event manager. So let's wait for it to load them. See the check out the feedback to see if um, it is reflecting here. So most times it's not going to start reflecting immediately. Okay, but make sure you test it and ensure that um, you're getting clicks and the, the number here are increasing to show that people are actually um, interacting with the page. So when you start to show you indicating some numbers here, three, four, ten, then you know that the um, pixel has been set up the right. Way so guys i i hope you you got value from these information i just shared here so if you love this kind of content and you like to watch more of this kind of content please kindly subscribe to the channel like this video and then put on your notification bell so you'll be among the first persons to see content like this whenever it comes live so guys um see you in the next video bye